Hello guys. Today we will use Dynamo for automated room numbering task. First, we will open mm, some project and we will choose the level. In this sample you can see we already have the uh, room with some numbers. Uh, but what we're gonna do, we will uh, automate shadows with our rooms and uh, other things like uh, square, square meters of each room and uh, occupation load factor in my Revit window in the manage tab and uh, I'm, I will use after that uh, launch Dynama here also you can launch uh, Dynama directly icon on your desktop or uh, start menu up to you Let's go ahead and we'll start new project. Let's uh, select Revit selection here. And we need uh, to use all elements of category for now. Section, selection, sorry. All elements of category here. And uh, also we need categories. This is this one. Now at category node we will choose the room. I'll tap on my keyboard. Room, 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 room. Uh -huh. It's here. And I'll connect to element. So nothing, nothing changed. So we will use as a node the call its watch. Uh, it's here. And let's connect element to the watch. And as you see, we get all our room numbers. But uh, the green one, it means um, Dynamo using own uh, data. Now we need uh, more detail. What exactly we are looking for. Next node, what we're gonna use this element. Element get parameter sorry here dot element get parameter uh -huh, it is here now let's connect the all element of our of category uh, to the element uh, get parameter double click on the left bottom on the in your mouse Let's write level with capital L and let's close it. Click on the free space and let's connect to parameter parameter name. What is that? Your main question. If we will go to the uh, to the Revit and uh, for example we will click to the lecture. I mean the space we have here parameter level so that mean we we want to take information of about this name so about the level for example if we will click here sorry Oh, I don't know why it's not. It was fixed. Yes, we get the parameter level one, all rooms with, uh, from level one, all rooms from level two, and all rooms from uh, level three. But this is only about the level. Let's let's take the number. As you see, we have here identified data with numbers of our rooms. So I'll select all these blocks I mean to these blocks let's control C control V and we get copy of that blocks I'll open that for you can see what I will do I'll change uh, word level to number and click somewhere and as you see we get the numbers so now we have the levels and numbers from our um, 
Revit file. Revit work. Let's continue. Let's continue. Now we need new node string dot remove this one. And also I need code block. So as you remember, left double click on the left mouse on the left bottom in your mouse. And now let's write zero. So start index will be zero and uh, string will be our data, our level. Now let's add one more string left this one. Let's connect our variant to this one. Let's check it. Yes, we already get all information. Let's add minus node here, minus this one. Double click, one. Let's put it to Y and X. Yes, we get all information. And what we need now, from the variant to the count. Let's check it. Yes, we already get information. So, what we did. Uh, now, Dynamo um, show us where the first level, where the second level with our data. Not by word, as we get uh, here. If you, if you will check here. This is word and number. But we need only number. So, we deleted the word. And now we get only number. Now we need a new uh, node string um, contact string contact is here. Let's connect. Ah, uh, not not now. Uh, I forgot one more node. This is uh, con uh, combine list combine. So. Now uh, we connect our string contact to the combine. We connect string remote to the list one. We connect our element value by name to the list two. Let's check what we get. Actually, we get nothing. That's right. So let's add two parameter. And as you see, we get our mm, level and number of room. But mm, this is not so useful. Uh, let's add code block and let's make the dash. Let's uh, in the in node uh, in string node. Let's add one more line, and we will connect to the, the middle. Because I want to separate this number, this number by dash. So to the middle. Contact. Now, as you see, we get uh, level and number of our room. But this date, what we get now, this data, uh, can use only in Dynamo for now. So we need upload to the Revit. Let's get started to do that. And now we need uh, as a node uh, element dot set parameter by name. This is last one. Let's put this here. And uh, this node asking us uh, element. We already have the one element. Uh, this means category rooms, element of category. And we can just connect them. Oh, sorry, I didn't click. Okay, good. And need parameter name. Parameter name, this is means our name number. And last one, we, what we need, the 
connect list combine to the value. Let's let's do that. Oh, sorry, we don't need code block. And let's try our nodes to the project. I'll select run. And as you, as you see, we have now level and number of our room. Also, we're changing not only here, not on the, only in the plan. If you will go to the shadow, room shadow, the name of our rooms also changed here. So, in the next lesson, we'll uh, change the, our occupation load uh, for each room. Thank you for watching guys and uh, below this video you will, you can find um, link to download uh, file for Dynama if you don't have the time or no wanna try to do by yourself these notes. Thanks guys, see ya!